historic meeting. What was accomplished? I'm Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan with five things you need to know about the Trump-Kim summit. One, was there an agreement to denuclearize? Sometimes you have to walk. No, it was hoped this summit would yield a roadmap towards denuclearization, but the two sides have not even agreed on what that word means. In the talks, Kim asked for economic sanctions to be lifted in exchange for shutting down his main Yongbyon nuclear facility. This isn't nothing, but it also wasn't enough for U.S. negotiators who want access and monitoring of the rest of Kim's nuclear facilities. Two, now that talks fell apart, does this mean tensions will escalate? Not necessarily. President Trump said the end of his conversation with Kim Jong-un was friendly and urged diplomats to keep talking. Neither side walked away empty-handed. The North Koreans agreed to maintain their freeze on nuclear and missile testing. I trust him and uh, I take him at his word. I hope that's true. While the U.S. paused its major military exercises. Three, is North Korea still a threat to the U.S.? Yes, it can still produce nuclear material and its missiles may soon threaten the west coast of the United States. That's why a halt to testing matters. North Koreans have not yet perfected being able to successfully launch a warhead on a missile that can fly that distance. Four, has North Korea gained a seat on the world stage? Yes. Kim Jong-un is no longer the isolated leader of a rogue state. He was treated as an equal of the President of the United States, despite the sanctions that continue to choke his economy. Five, a good personal relationship? President Trump has stressed that his good chemistry is at least one achievement, even calling the North Korean dictator a friend. I don't believe that he would have allowed that to happen. And saying that he does not hold him responsible for what he described as the brutal treatment of American student Otto Warmbier, who died shortly after being released from a North Korean prison. This is just one of the many human rights abuses carried out by the dictator's brutal regime. Make no mistake, there is still a lot of work ahead. 